eight tips from me on how to run high mileage that you'll probably need to run a sub three. Hello, this video we're going to be talking about some tips that I think are really crucial to run high mileage weeks. So this week I'm on for 109k, last week I run 100 and there's just some things that over the last sort of year and a bit of running since I started in January 2022 that I think are crucial to being able to do that, to keep that consistency, to be able to run a decent amount of mileage every week. Um, and ultimately to help you get fitter so tip number one is consistency and what I mean by that is the aim of the game isn't to run 100k one week 105 the next week and then nothing the week after because ultimately you're gonna burn out you're not gonna get the gains because you'll take weeks off because you've rushed it so what I'd say to do if you're comfortable running 40 a week run 40 now I there is the 10% rule which is don't increase your mileage by more than 10% but I don't do that I tend to stick to around about well it probably does work out of that but I probably stick to like 5 6k in the early stages so if I'm only at 30k in my build up I'll only increase it by like 5 or 6k so I'll only do 35 the week after and then I'll go up to like 42 and then once I sort of get past 60, I'll go up by sort of 10, 10s then. So I'll we'll go up to like 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90. And then once I get up to around about 100, I'm, I'm creeping. I know that when I get to 100, I'm pushing my body a bit. So for example, this week I went up eight, next week I went up six. And ultimately that means your legs are ready for it when you start running this distance. And it means that you're far, far more likely to avoid injury if you start turning around about the place and jump up in 50 60k you're gonna know about it so tip one was consistency and build it up slowly tip two is discipline now what I mean by that is if you're planning on running 100k weeks I would assume that you've got some sort of plan that you're following you're not just going out on a whim and running if your plan says easy on a Tuesday run easy on a Tuesday, don't change it don't pretend it's got too fast because it's sunny or you feel good or you're short for time stick to the plan <laughs> the biggest thing I've taken out of the last two marathon blocks I've done is to stick to my plan if my plan says easy, steady tempo, marathon pace just stick to that so the moment you start chopping and changing you upset your polarised training if you're used to running 80, 20 or your plan, plans for you to run 80 easy and 20 intense intensity and you start changing it and then it ends up like 60, 40, that's how you start getting injured because your body's not accustomed to that amount of weekly volume of intensity. So tip two, stick to the plan, stay disciplined. Um, so tip three, recovery. And by that I mean, after your runs, get in, get the protein shake in or recovery shake get the recovery leggings on I swear by mine if you have rest days planned in try and do as little as possible you've got to be a little bit selfish here don't be going out gallivanting up a hill with your missus or with your family or with your dog you're running a lot of mileage and if you start doing stuff on your rest days you're asking for trouble so tip number three take recovery seriously tip number four is strength and conditioning you don't have to do loads it's something i've neglected in the past i'm trying to amend now but just getting in the gym oh i'm getting run over but getting in the gym or doing it at home there's plenty of body weight exercises out there just to strengthen your muscles try and correct any imbalances it'll go a long way to making sure that you stay injury free and your legs are in good shape when you start on bumping up the miles tip four strength and conditioning Tip number five, uh, diet and nutrition. It's probably where I, I slack the most. My diet's not very good. Um, it's not, not very good, it's just, it probably needs to be better. So anyway, make sure you're not binge eating on fast foods or fatty foods or greasy foods. Um, 
personally I don't drink alcohol um, I quit alcohol about about 18 months ago and I've never looked back and this ties in with that discipline thing of being disciplined that if you've got a long run in the morning or you've got a big run don't go out with the mate, your mates or with work colleagues drinking because you're not going to get the run done you're not going to get the benefit but then your actual diet so a load of leafy vegetables fruit and veg you know like berries are really good for antioxidants things like that um, yogurt's really good Greek yogurt really good for the protein factor of it stuff like that but that's something I should take heed of myself because my diet and nutrition should probably probably should be better so tip five diet and nutrition tip number six um, you're gonna be running for about depending on your pace about eight hours a week probably more if you go if you go like sort of 120 and above 100 kilometers get a distraction I use the aero shocks listen to podcast music just anything to sort of help me switch off so an hour and a half this morning okay I've been vlogging but the run's gone quite quick to be listening to a podcast so I've sort of not been consciously paying attention to my running I've been zoned out for a bit and that's really important when you start running these big distances just get you find something to distract yourself while you're on the run tip seven is kit so if you're going to be running 100k weeks you're going to want a comfy pair of trainers um, I personally find that the Nova Blasts work for me but find a pair of trainers that you're comfy in or suited to your foot style, your running style because the last thing you want is to start ramping up mileage and you start getting little niggles, little injuries but ultimately not because you've trained wrong but just because your shoes don't match your running style so go to like an up and, an up and running or places like that and then get your feet, get your gait tested, see what kind of shoes fit you. Um, yeah, not much really to say than that. Shoes, vital. They tools of the trade. Make sure you get a, a good pair and you look after them. Get a couple of pairs. See my last video about shoe rotation, which I'll put up on the screen now. Get yourself a few pairs so they've got different purposes. Ultimately, look after your legs. Get a good pair of shoes that can do that. Tip number seven, kit basically shoes so my last tip tip eight is stay in the present and what I mean by that is I'm gonna take my run now as soon as I finish this run I've forgotten about it it's gone I can't change it my immediate focus is on the 6k run this evening but then tomorrow's run I'm not really thinking about yet every week when it gets to Saturday Sunday I have a look at the next week's plan see if I need to change any days for, to a fit around work or commitments and then I stick to it and I don't look past the day I'm on I think that's really key don't look at oh my god I've got 15 weeks left until the marathon blah 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 just focus on the run you're in, the, the week you're in um, it's so so crucial because it's quite quick it's quite easy to get overwhelmed I'd done it when I was training for London you look at all these runs you've got to do and all the distances and like if you stop doing that you're just going to get just going to get sort of stressed and you're not going to enjoy your running folks on the run you're in smash that one next one smash that one next one smash that one yeah do have a rough sort of eye on the future knowing what's coming and see if you so like for example i graduate on 24th of july but I've already planned that day so I can know, know I've got time to do the run in the morning before I go and graduate. So not put a double in, because no one has time. But tip eight, stay in the present, focus on the now. So that's it then. Eight tips from me on how to run high mileage that you'll probably need to run a sub three. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Comment any sort of tips you've got for running high mileage that I might not have thought of or I don't know of and I might incorporate them into my training but thank you for watching um, next the week 2 Berlin vlog will be out Sunday, Monday depending on how much time I've got the weekend but yeah, thank you for watching see you later